If you guys want the chance to win some credits in my giveaway, make sure you do the three following steps. The first and second step is just liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And finally, the third step is to enter the Discord server with the link in the description below. If you've done this, you have to go to the giveaway channel and click the emoji so you are finally entered in the giveaway. And before we continue with today's video, here's a message from our sponsor. If you want to buy Rocket League items and credits for the cheapest prices possible and at the same time be as secure as possible, make sure you check out RL Exchange with the description below. They sell to PC, Xbox and PS4 and don't forget to use code AIM at the checkout to get a discount on your next order. Yo what is up guys, Ames here with another YouTube video and in today's video as you can see for the title I'm going to be telling you guys all the Rocket League glitches that people talk about and I'm not saying these actually work or don't work, I'm just telling you them all just to see if you guys can find out some ones that do work or if you can prove that they don't work so don't sit, go in the comments and say all these don't work because I'm not saying they do, I'm not saying they don't but before we continue today's video I want you guys to hit that like button and join the Discord server we have hit 1000 200 I'm, pr I'm pretty sure 1200 discord members i do suggest joining the server as you can enter the giveaway there find people to trade with check prices on rocket league and you can get loads of tips and even talk to me on there so if you ever want to talk to me go join the discord it's probably the easiest way to contact me because um, i don't really use my instagram to find you guys to you know talk to so i do suggest joining the discord or commenting below on the video if you want to talk to me but without further ado let's get into the first rocket league glitch which is well known in the community all right guys this first glitch is actually something that was actually proved to be real and was in the game at one point i'm pretty sure they've patched it now but this glitch was insane is basically a getting out of the map glitch this is basically when you went to like one of the goalposts and you rammed your car right into the edge of it and you could get out of the Rocket League map with your car and explore. There's loads of YouTube videos of people doing this and just finding all these cool things that you normally can't see from you know inside the map. But this was a well known glitch and I've never done it before. However, if you guys want to do it now, you can't do it in game anymore. But if you went to a replay, you can always use the replay mode, use the free camera mode and go outside the map. So that is kind of the fix of how to do this glitch. But you used to be able to do this glitch in game with your friends and it would be a really cool thing to do. However, if you did it in ranked, you'd probably lose because you're not really defending your goal or anything like that. But that is the first um, glitch. And tell me if you guys have ever t heard about it. It's the out of map glitch. And... Yeah, let's get into the next glitch that used to be on Rocket League. This next glitch was actually um, founded by someone who owns a white hat. If you don't know what a white hat is, it is basically when you um, you found a really game-breaking glitch and you report it to a developer and you can actually get this thing called a white hat, which is worth thousands of pounds like real life money thousands of pounds and it's an item in rocket league so that is a really expensive thing in rocket league but this glitch was basically changing the rarity of an item so if you don't know what i mean by this there's a rare uncommon very rare black market stuff like that and exotic all these rarities this guy found out how to change them so you could basically get an uncommon hat and make it black market and black market and if it wasn't if it's not crazy enough there you could even trade the thing so you could say oh my gosh look at this really rare item that has never been in rocket league before and trade it for probably millions of credits and it's, it's just insane and we're so lucky that this glitch was reported to someone before someone actually um you know made so much profit off it but that is one of the glitches that were actually in rocket league and i'm pretty sure it's patched now because they did report it to a developer but let's get straight into the third glitch of today's video but that glitch was actually insane and i can't believe that um they found out i don't actually know how they find out these insane glitches but let's get into the third one all right guys this glitch i'm not too sure if it's ever been in rocket league or if it ever will but it is used in scamming so if you are um prone of being scamming that you're vulnerable of being scamming do keep this glitch in mind because you don't want to fall for any scams including this glitch it's basically called the duplication glitch and it's basically when people say oh i will um duplicate your item with a trade you give them the item and they most likely will leave the party but this glitch would be insane if it was in rocket league as you it's basically duplicating is like cloning and making more so it's basically if you had a thousand credits you could turn that into maybe a million credits 
but I don't know if this um, has ever been in the, you know, the, the glitch of a glitch of Rocket League. But a lot of people do talk about it and use it for scams. So I do suggest not falling for any scams involving this duplication glitch because it is well known in the community. However, it is so well known, but I don't think it's ever actually been in the game. And if you're ever watching a video on how to do this duplication glitch, they're either just testing it, see if it actually does work, or they're just trying to trick you into getting views. Obviously, I have a series where I test out glitches, and I'm, currently I've not found a glitch that works, but I do test out glitches, seeing if they actually do work. But some people use these glitches, uh, well, fake glitches, to try scam you and make profit off of you. But that was the third glitch of um, today's video that I don't know if it's been in Rocket League before. It's not been proved I've been in Rocket, being in Rocket League, but it is um, a scary glitch that if it did come to you know, Rocket League, it would be very bad. But anyway, let's get into the fourth tip or fourth glitch of today's video. This next glitch is actually a short one, but it isn't like a bad glitch. It's like a glitch that um, it might be very helpful for you guys when trading. It is basically when you um, when you're in a trade, and obviously you can cancel the trade. Lots of people like to do this thing where they go down to one second and they instantly cancel the trade. And I'm not too sure how they do this, but it's a very cool glitch. That, um, it does give people hope. Like imagine someone puts a white octane in and it goes down to the one second, but they somehow cancel it out of nowhere. This glitch is still around today. However, I do not recommend trying it in case you actually do lose whatever item you put in. I've never done it before and I don't think I ever want to. Just in case I actually do lose my items I'm trying to flex or something like that. But that is the fourth glitch of today's video. It is a light one compared to all the others and it's not really a bad glitch. It's it's not a good glitch, but it's not a bad glitch. Like It's not um, game breaking or anything like that. But it is a glitch that was that is currently probably still in Rocket League. I mean, it was in Rocket League before the free-to-play update. But let's get into the next glitch of today's video, which is actually the last one as well. Alright, this glitch is actually a really bad glitch. And it's not just specifically for Rocket League. It is a very bad glitch. So it's basically when you... Um, so imagine you're in a PS4 party or Xbox party trading of someone... They're basically just trying to trade a view and everything like that. But these guys are most likely always rich because what they're doing is actually game breaking. And I don't think Rocket League can actually stop this. It's basically, imagine you're in a PS4 pie with someone. There's this thing called an IP address. People can find your IP and then find out where you live and stuff like that. But that is not even the glitch of today's video. Um, you can also get your email for your account. And when people have this information, if your password is lower than six like letters or numbers and stuff like that, they can do this thing called brute forcing, which is basically when they steal your account by um, putting every single password possible with like a robot, which does this for, for them. And they do this and they can steal your account. And it is an insane glitch called brute forcing. I do suggest if you see someone in a PlayStation party and they have a black um, profile picture and a smiley face on it, they're probably a brute forcer because that is what they put as their um, profile pictures. But that is it for today's video. If you have ever seen one of these glitches happen, tell me in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.